Hi everyone, I'm in the kitchen again. Thanks for joining me. I have been craving guacamole and it is so easy to make, tastes so much better than what you buy in the grocery store, and you don't have to worry about any dubious ingredients. Plus it's usually cheaper, depending upon where you live. All you need are four avocados. I buy them hard, let them sit on the counter, and I check them a couple of times a day. When they're just starting to be soft, but not mushy, they're ready to go. You need one lime, some fresh cilantro, and salt and pepper, and that is it. So I start with the cilantro. Now, my husband complains when there are cilantro stems in this, so I just pinch off the leaves and then mince them. All you need for this recipe is a quarter cup. I kind of find a rocking motion minces this better than a chopping motion like you would use with, say, a large vegetable. Okay, now I just take one avocado at a time and split it. And scoop out that good, that good green stuff. It's a good idea to hang on to the pit, and I'll show you why in a moment. And I just repeat this with all four avocados. And then I just use the back of the spoon to mash it. If the avocado isn't really quite ripe enough, it's going to be hard to mash. But if it's well ripened, it should get smooth fairly quickly. And you can make it as chunky or as smooth as you like. You're going to add the juice from one lime. You can just squeeze a ripe lime if you want. I like to use this little citrus hand juicer. Lots of good stuff here to go into the compost, although I will tell you that I have not had any luck with av uh, composting avocado skins. I've put them in the compost and years later found them intact. So I've given up on composting those. But I put in the limes once they're juiced. And I also put in the cilantro stems, which that's what's added next, cilantro. And I'm just gonna stir them together. Mmm, -hmm. this is gonna be so yummy. I'll tell you my two favorite ways to have guacamole. One is on a burger. It's delicious. And the other is, since I don't eat chips, because they're super unhealthy for me as a diabetic, I cook up some bacon, and I tip in the bacon and the guacamole, and boy, it doesn't take very much to fill me up, but that could be a whole meal. It's so delicious. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper. Salt. If you have fresh cracked pepper, that's probably even better. I'm just using the pretty brown stuff. Stir it. Now, here's a little trick. 
these pits, if you put it in your guacamole, they help keep the guacamole from browning in the refrigerator. I honestly don't know the science behind that, but I know it absolutely works. I've done it without and with, and it definitely works better this way. So there you go. Beautiful guacamole whipped up in minutes, ready for your chips or your bacon or your burger or however you like to eat it. Thanks for joining me. I will put a link to the written directions on my blog in the description below. And leave your comments. Tell me what you think of this recipe. Do you add something special to make it even better? Let me know. Bye.